morning my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a bit of a large summary wardrobe update from our cat. Lots of linen-y things in here if I remember correctly. I'm super excited to get through all of these things. Hopefully you can see I have three fairly large boxes here. I have bought a few pieces here and there from our cat over the past not even a year but these trousers are from there and I've been wearing them a ton. I've really loved all the pieces I've gotten from them so I decided to make a bit of a larger purchase to really try out some of their best looking pieces. We're gonna go through them all. Through the magic of editing, I will have all these boxes transformed into clothes on a rail in three, two, one, and ta-da! <laughs> Looking at this rail, I am just now realizing how much of a neutrals haul this is, a one colorful thing. But they're looking really good, so I'm gonna get into the first outfit so we can have a look at that. So for these shorts, I bought a sort of short and blazer set. I got the shorts in a size 36 and they are surprisingly too large. I'm normally a 36 or a 38, so I actually already sized down in these. They still feel too loose in the waist, but I don't know if I could size down in the hips. Other than that, these feel so nice. This absolutely feels very high quality. And the waist piece here is lined, so it feels very substantial. It feels like it will lay flat. And I just find that details like that really matter in making a piece feel a little bit more high-end and look a bit more expensive and well-made. They're very very airy. I think this is such a great summer staple. I'm gonna order the size down and just see if that fits and fingers crossed. I also ordered this racer back tank top. This one is really really soft, nice and stretchy and I got this in a size small. I love that this isn't going like too narrow here because it's actually not that easy to find these kinds of tops where they fit right and i'm just going to show you because i've tucked it in but it is quite long to be fair i think i might actually hem this because i know i won't be wearing it this long anyways it didn't come as a set you can buy them separately but i did also buy the blazer yes this is also in a 36 and this is a linen blazer i think it says oversized as well and you can see the lining is just slightly on the breast panel here and on the top like on your shoulders and inside the sleeves again i say this all the time you want lining in the sleeves on your blazers and jackets otherwise they are just such a pain to wear with any long sleeve tops let's try it on all right uh it is quite large it's meant to be oversized i feel like the shoulders might be hanging off just a touch too much i would probably sort of roll it up and i have had a love affair with blazers since basically forever but a lot of the ones i have are very much slim fit i think these two pieces look so good together i only wish the shorts actually fit so the outer part of the blazer is fully linen and then the lining is viscose it feels very nice to have on uh, you do have a little bit of that very slight shoulder pad it is very very thin it's not stiff whatsoever but it does add a little bit to the blazer having more of that constructed feeling i think these are the best trousers i have ever tried i love them it's instant love they are perfection first off they are linen they are not lined they are super breathable these are also a size 36 so i don't really know why the shorts were so off but these fit perfectly they are wider but they're still nice not too tight but like snug in the waist they have this waist closure i've talked about this before where it kind of overlaps a little bit it tends to lie more flat i think it's just a lot more streamlining and the pleating in the front is just so so beautiful the perfect wide leg these are a little bit long but they're gonna be perfect with a heel i think i saw they did it in black i am 100 percent ordering that as well i think for me it's just the construction of the garment that really sells me on this i'm gonna assume they are a little bit see-through because they are like cream and linen and not lined but I'm totally fine with that. I'm gonna talk about the crop top as well. This is in recycled 
organic cotton and it's really nice such a comfortable piece and I tend to live in these kind of tops for summer the trousers are a little bit more neutral and these are leaning a little bit more warm or yellow but either way it's a really beautiful and very comfortable piece you can see it has a little bit of stretch definitely the kind of piece I would wear a lot I kind of don't want to take them off but I'm going to Let's do the next outfit. This has to be one of the most comfortable things you could wear for summer. I have this sear sucker dress. It's just the one layer. It's so airy, it's beautiful. I love the texture on the fabric here. The sear sucker, as you can see, really really beautiful such a great dress if you're going on holiday things like that i got this in a size 36 and you can adjust the straps a little bit but they don't go through here you have an elastic so it's actually such a comfortable dress as you can see it's a very loose shape it's not always the most flattering shape on me so i do love that i can wear it like this but i picked out my belt that i am sure all of you are sick of seeing by now it's my brown valentino belt i think something a little less heavy would be good here even a really thin chain belt but i still think it's a cute look either if you want to dress it up a little bit or if you just also feel more comfortable having these very large garments cinched in in the waist what makes this dress so good i think is that it would be great for lounging but also you can dress it up how could i forget this this was probably what i was the most excited about in this entire haul it is a chunky chain necklace let me take it out it's gonna be really noisy so here we have this chunky chain necklace and as soon as i saw this i knew i had to have it it is 100% uh, recycled bras with gold plating and I think it said on the website that it is nickel tested as well I'm gonna try it on but I think I might not be able to try it on without actually taking it out of the packaging yeah okay we're just gonna cut it off oh my gosh it's so cute I'm just looking at it in the viewfinder I need to go have a look in the mirror but this is such a pretty piece it's the perfect accessory to dress up very simple basic pieces without having to do a lot of work. I feel like that's a little bit better. So you just have a very, very simple dress and then the much more statement necklace. And I feel like this is where those kind of accessories really, really shine. I really wanted to see how this necklace looked with this white linen shirt. I've done a half tuck and all the linen I've tried from Arquette, whether it's before or in this haul, has been so soft and comfortable. I don't think it's coming off in camera that it's a little bit see-through but it definitely is if you feel like the typical cotton button-up shirt is a little bit too stiff this is such a beautiful much more casual way of wearing it and again perfect for summer because of the materials i paired it with these i think they're called barrel leg cropped jeans but i am 160 centimeters so you know they're not really cropped on me are they i don't know about these i really like the color that like sort of faded black and they're super comfortable to have on i got a size 27 and it actually fits quite well both in the waist and the hips i'm unsure about the length maybe i i kind of feel like i want to cut it and not hem it just have a raw hem let me know what you think about that because i think i think it could maybe be good it doesn't have any stretch whatsoever so that is something to keep in mind if you prefer that i would just stay far far away maybe not like the most summery thing you could wear black jeans a little bit hot for the hottest day here but if I come across a good pair of jeans, I will buy them, no matter the season, because it's hard to find. I know, I know, another linen set. It's a really nice set, and it's great if you want something a little bit more casual. And I think it's a really nice shape. You have these wider sleeves, and it's just super comfortable to move in. I do think it's really great. I think it's just that I tried the more tailored style shorts and that is a little bit more my style but this is definitely more casual and very very comfortable i don't want to sort of be very negative about this set i think it's just that i've been so kind of excited about the other pieces and this is still really good but i just don't feel the same kind of like instant love as i do with the others i bought these super cute hair scrunchies with like these ties on but i thought it was really cute as a sort of an accent print to have in your hair i'm really obsessed with hair accessories at the moment 
anything to sort of dress up my hair and still pull it out of my face so cute this is 100 linen and this is recycled polyester i also got two pairs of shoes because i have no chill well first of all i got a pair of slides these right here and they have a very very square toe i will say that and i think these must come from like a shop floor or something because they're very very scratched on the underneath either that or they are a return they're also a bit scuffed on the front here so i'm not sure if that was like a return they just put in I don't know but they just look so cute with this straw detail a really unique shoe i have a slightly wider foot but they still fit me quite nicely i just feel like they might be a touch too duck feet with a square toe i don't know what you think let me know but other than that they look really comfortable but i probably would try to exchange them just because of the scuffing at the front here is that being a little bit too picky because they're not like inexpensive shoes either so let me know what you do do you return shoes when they're like maybe not worn outside but either like a well-worn shop floor model because also sometimes if a lot of people have tried a pair of shoes on in store they might actually have widened i worked in a shoe store so i've noticed this personally especially if you only have one shoe on the shop floor and then lots of people try that say the left and then that one is a lot bigger than the right one but even if you have a proper pair and then lots of people try it on eventually over time they do widen so um that is something i might be picky enough to do let me know if you agree or how you feel about that then i got a pair of shoes that are very much not really typically me i kind of fell for a trend i'm gonna say that and it is the clog trend these look really really cool these are definitely never worn i also love that this has a very very sensible heel you can hardly call it a heel because it has this platform but these studs here look so cute that is probably what sold me the most so i got these also in a size 37 so let me try them on definitely too big way way too big i think it's a cool style though but it's too hard to judge whether they would be nice to walk in because they're too large so i would definitely have to get the size down if you're between i would say get your smaller size that you normally are the final dress it has a little bit of that towel kind of fabric that is so popular right now as you can see it has this very very interesting texture to it it definitely feels very summer appropriate like very beach vibes maybe because it does remind me a little bit of a towel but i think the color here is really beautiful and i talk about colors all the time this is laying really flat and i didn't have to steam this it feels like this is a little bit stiffer than the rest of the dress uh, i got this in a size extra small because it is a little bit on the oversized side and i definitely don't think you have to be afraid to size down when it comes to this i just don't think it's completely me but either way it's a very very interesting piece and if you're into this kind of fabric a trend then i definitely think this is a very classic simple and much more understated way of doing it than a lot of the pieces that i have seen so i don't think it's a bad piece i just don't think it's necessarily for me all right ending off this haul with a black and pink combo i've already spoken about this t-shirt in white before it is their heavyweight t-shirt i bought it i loved it in white and i realized right then and there i had to get it in black as well and the fabric is just fantastic much higher quality than any other t-shirt i've ever bought i'm probably going to buy backups of them and any color they come out with moving on to the skirt here this is 100 cotton and they did this in a couple of different colors as well it's a little bit too blue pink for me and it has a good length especially for being a mini skirt because a lot of them are just so incredibly mini so i think this is a good length it does go quite high up on my waist as well so keep that in mind uh you have a zipper here but there is absolutely no stretch in the skirt whatsoever so i might look at this in some of the other colors because i do really like the style of it but i feel like the pink is just a touch too cool for my skin tone that is going to be all the items for today let me know what you think about all the items and if you've bought from arcade before if you have some favorites you think i should try let me know if you want to see some outfit inspiration on these pieces i will post pictures on instagram once i start wearing it so you can go and follow me there if you want to don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're not already and i will see you in the next video
Bye.